Yo, what's up everyone? It's V Sips. Welcome to the channel. Today we got a brand new video. Atlas wishes everyone a happy new year 2022 and I wish you a happy new year 2022 too. And Atlas also confirms 800,000 copies sold of Shin Megami Tensei 5, teasing a new title coming soon and some more. So if you guys are excited for this news that we'll be covering today, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. There's a single upload here on the It's V Sips channel. All kinds of dope content. Shin Megami Tensei, Persona, Nintendo, Kingdom Hearts Square, Enix, Final Fantasy, Triangle Strategy, Xenoblade, and much more here on the It's V Sips channel. So thank Thank you guys so much for enjoying all the content, especially all the SMT5 content that I've been putting out ever since like months and months ago. So seriously, thank you guys for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I do have some more plans for even more SMT5 content coming as well as my SMT5 review, which is in the process of being completed. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But without further ado, let's get into this. Atlas confirmed 800,000 copies of Shimano Tensei 5 Soul Witch. 800,000 is definitely pretty damn solid for less than two months of being on the market, uh, for sure. Especially for a mainline Shimano Tensei title to hit that many units. Uh, but before we get into that, we actually have some dope artwork to check too uh, that Atlas has published uh, for the collaboration of 2022, the new year. And for those who don't know, yes, we're currently going through the 25th anniversary of Persona, but in 2022, like. It's also going to be SMT's anniversary, which is pretty crazy when you really think about it like that. Uh, so what I think is going to happen possibly is like right after the Persona anniversary ends in like September, I think, maybe October, that's when they're going to officially start the SMT anniversary, sometime around then maybe, just because they don't want them to overlap possibly. But this art is definitely super sick. I'm digging it for the new year and I'm excited for 2022. Hope you guys are also. Let's get into this article though. From Persona Central, make sure you guys follow Persona Central on Twitter, Persona underscore Central. It's the main hub for all of Atlas news, Persona, Shion Tensei, and more. Atlas wishes everyone a happy new year 2022, confirms 800,000 copies of SMT5 have been sold and teases a surprising new title. Fimitsu published an article celebrating the new year with 60 game developers who contributed New Year's 2022 greeting cards alongside messages of commemoration. So like this, so that's what that was. Okay, cool, cool. One of the companies who contributed was Atlas, and their message to go alongside the card teased development and plans for the upcoming year. And this follows last year's uh, Happy New Year's 2021 card featuring Atlas Company's mascot and SD5's uh, Demon Jack Frost. And this year is also featuring Jack Frost along with the Tiger Byako, representative of the animal for 2022 and the Japanese Zodiac. Which makes 100% sense. I had a feeling that's what it was, but I didn't want to mention just in case I didn't want to be incorrect. So I'm glad that they made sure to explain it there. The Atlas statement for 2022. So you get uh, nothing. You lose. Well, I guess Atlas has no plans for 2022. Pack it up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know why they have this giant block of nothing on the website. In November 2021, SMT5 was simultaneously worldwide and it got off to a good start selling over 800,000 copies total since November 2021. Thank you very much for your support and 2022 will start with the remastered version of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax in March and the release of 13 Sentinels Ages of Rim for Switch in April and Atlas is also preparing a surprise new title that has not been announced. Also, the 25th anniversary of Persona, which started last year, will enter a new phase. Please look forward to it. I hope the new phase includes new titles, and I hope it includes something that I've been hoping for. Not Persona 4 Arena. We need Persona 5 Arena. That's what we need. And I know people, oh, we don't need another Persona 5 spinoff. Listen, we're probably not going to get Persona 6 for another three years if we're being objective and honest. Like, minimum three years. So, if we get another Persona 5 spinoff... Especially if it's a fighting game spinoff, like I'd rather that. Cause like, I'm not a huge fan of Musou Warriors games. So Persona 5 Strikers was a bit of a disappointment for me as a spinoff. So 
hopefully we can get Persona 5 Arena. That would be pretty damn sick. Especially if that's the next announcement, or even just any of the announcements in Persona 5, uh, like getting a spinoff would be sick. Persona 4 getting a spinoff, like aside from Arena Ultimax would be cool, but I heard Arena Ultimax, the new one, uh, that's being uh, remastered is going to possibly have two to three new characters potentially to change up the formula so we'll see we'll see with all these games uh, with this new phase of the 20th anniversary persona but with SD5 800,000 units and that anniversary is gonna be starting right after persona so we'll see how all this unfolds as 2022 progresses as recently stated Sega was satisfied with the sales of SD5 and this is the first milestone reported uh, for SD5 sales worldwide. And for a point of comparison, SD4 achieved 600,000 total sales two years after its initial May 2013 release. So, think about that. When they confirmed in July 2015 that SD4 sold 600,000 total sales by that point in July 2015, it's only been less than two months since SD5 released. And it sold 800,000 units. If that's a comparison that I want to make, I, I would call that the Switch effect. The Switch definitely helped with sales for sure. As well as s 5 being on sale for $35 uh, during like the weeks before Christmas. The last two, three weeks before Christmas, s 5 was on sale for $35 on GameStop, Amazon, all those main websites. So that sale definitely helped. Definitely, in my opinion, helped along with the Switch effect where new uh, console experiences that come to Switch for these uh, titles, they do very well. Like even other entries for other franchises like Fire Emblem 3 Houses did extremely well, Metroid for Metroid Dread did extremely well, and so on and so forth. Atlas product manager Shinjiro Takata pre previously talked about a pillar title he hopes to release in 2022. Atlas general manager Naoto Hiroka had previously mentioned a surprisingly big title the company had been working on that he couldn't wait to reveal. At the same time, there's an outstanding rating for a game titled Project Pen that has yet to be revealed. Project Pen. Mm. And it's looking increasingly like that in 2022, Atlas will be releasing a major pillar title that will surprise fans. Presumably, this is not the Atlas upcoming fantasy RPG title, Project V Fantasy, which has already been announced since December... Wait, it's been since December 2016 since that got announced? It's been six years almost since that got announced? Re Fantasy... Oh, God. Re Fantasy better come out in the next two years. Oh, no. <laughs> it's looking like a Atlas has their own cyberpunk on their hands at the long development time that that's happened, but... Project Pen sounds pretty damn sick, but also, we'll see how that game turns out. If that gets revealed in 2022, we'll have to wait and see if that will be a pillar title for Atlas's release schedule in 2022. And SD5 selling 800,000 is great. I'm pretty sure it will sell a million by the end of 2022. Definitely. It will definitely reach another 200,000 by the end of 2022. Hitting a million by the end of the fiscal year for 2022 as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to scratch out. Hit that notification bell. Never seen an upload here on the It's VSIPS channel covering Atlas, Nintendo, Square Enix, and more content provided for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys show some love if you do enjoy the content. You guys have been showing love to some of the recent videos, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been It's VSIPS, and I will see you all next time. Peace.